then there's Gregory Scarpa, a.k.a. the Grim Reaper. He was a hitman for Colombo boss Persico. He was also a capo. They're saying that he killed more than 120 people before he died in 1994. He would leave the number 666 on the pagers after they died. He was also called the Mad Hatter. How did you know this guy? He's right from the same neighborhood. I knew him all my life. And he wasn't ever a captain. His son, Greg Scapa Jr., was a captain. Ah, okay. My mistake. Him then, they didn't make him a captain. Um, uh, I knew him all my life, uh, most of my life. I mean, I, I lived less than a mile away from him where he had his club and I had my club. He's in the mafia, I'm in the mafia. So I knew him a good part of my life. Right. And he was very dangerous. Do you believe he killed 120 people? I don't know. I think he killed a lot of people. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a thing, a, a, a movie they made about him. Um, what was the name of that movie? He went down south. Mississippi Bernie? Mississippi Bernie. Right. He, the feds, there's some guys who, some black guys who were killed. Yeah, okay, so the story is in Mississippi, a black kid and a Jewish kid got killed by the racist police in Mississippi who were tied to the Klan. Not the, no, the Ku Klux Klan. I, not, no, I don't think it was the cops, but the Ku Klux Klan got these two guys, killed them, and buried them. Yeah. The cops were looking for them. They went down because they killed black people and they were doing the investigation. Mm -hmm. They grabbed them, killed them, buried them. So now the, the, the feds went down. They couldn't find out who did what. Right. They had an idea. Greg Scarpa was an informant for years. Right. They spoke to Greg Scarpa. He went down. He grabbed them. Yeah, he started kidnapping these guys, kidnapping and torturing them, them, putting them a gun in their fucking mouth. I'll, I'll fucking, you're a cop. No, I'm not a cop. I'll fucking pull this trigger, and then I'll get another one of you fucking hillbilly motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, he says, until I find out what you did. So he worked with the feds doing that. Yeah. And I believe he did find out. Right. So this is Greg Slapper. That, and then he's got a history of fucking killing people. So I don't know how many people he killed, i tell you the truth. But I knew him all my life, and uh, he, he was dangerous too. Right. He had AIDS as well. For, yeah, he got for a AIDS. a blood transfusion. On a blood transfusion. Yeah. You know, he was going for an operation. He didn't want to take the blood from the hospital. Yeah. Because he didn't trust it. He got one of his guys, was a steroid guy, a big, huge fucking monster. Who was HIV positive. Yeah. He, 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 he was using know, yeah. the needle to put the steroids, and he, he got AIDS. He yeah. took his blood, pumped it into himself, thinking it's... And got it. Yeah. Well, there was a situation when Scarpa ended up beating up someone at one of your clubs. Yeah. And then you had to go have a sit down with him. Y yes. How did that go? It went very good. Yeah. It went very good. My my his captain came down, um, with my captain, and uh, he had a beef and wrecked the club a little bit. Not wrecked the whole club, but you know, did a little bit of damage. And uh, they turned to me. He said, but you make a decision. What do you want to say or do? And I, I said, listen, uh, I didn't know the guy said X, Y, Z to him. I'm not happy it happened in my joint. But uh, maybe I would have done the same exact thing he did. So I'm, I'm not mad. I don't need no money, no nothing. I don't give a fuck. Right. Is it because you just didn't want to get into a war with the Grim Reaper, essentially? No, no, because I, I you know, he, he, I respected what he did. He fought this guy who did, was out of order with him. Yeah. You know, and I told him after the sit down, I said, bro, do me a favor, either don't come to my club if you can't handle yourself, but you're in my fucking club. Drag the guy out, you're gonna do it in my club? Yeah. No, I didn't give a fuck what he was. I mean, that's principle. And that's causing our show. And I, I just didn't want to get another. You know, we're all brothers in that life. I didn't want to get him in deeper shit that he was in. So I just ended it. I said I would have done the same thing if I was him. And they said, well, if you feel like that, it's your club, then, uh, then it's over. 
And then he grabbed me on the side. He said, Sammy, I'll never forget this. Hmm. I said, all right, good. But listen, you come to my club, behave yourself. Well, don't come. Go to somebody else's club. 